My name is Dr Harry Bennett. I'm a historian in the School of Humanities and Performing Arts, which is part of the Faculty of Arts at the University of Plymouth. As a historian, one of the things that I really like actually about enterprise is the fact that people bring stuff to you. It's not just a matter of you actually going away and researching. It's about actually applying your skills, your professional knowledge as a historian to real life situations. One of the projects I was invited to have a look at recently involves the rebuilding of the last German motor torpedo boat of the Second World War. Here's a section of it, uh, which is part of the transom end, the stern end of the boat. Now the owner wants it rebuilt back to the standard it was in 1943. Over the years, most of the plans, most of the drawings have been lost to this particular design. I'm now helping to sort of breathe life back into that project by finding photographs, by finding original film, by finding other things which can actually help us to rebuild that boat back to the standard it was in 1943. The boat actually was a, a revolutionary engineering prototype back in 1943. It was the fastest thing afloat, so it's significant in engineering terms. A composite of both wood and aluminium, uh, able to do 43 knots. What I'm doing actually in terms of the project is a, a variety of different things. I'm both helping to research the uh, history of the individual boat, which involves things like trips to Washington DC to look at the uh, flotilla records, but I'm also interested in the development of the boat, the people who built the boat, what they thought of it. And one of the things that I've been able to do is to track down the family that actually built that particular example. One of the great enjoyments that I've had as part of the Enterprise project is to actually try and combine sort of academic book learning together with practical hands-on experience. It's one thing to read about how you build one of these things. It's one thing to look at the original records from the Bundesarchiv or the National Archives in the UK or Washington. It's quite another when you go down to the shipyard and you actually help out the guys because you then begin to learn through that very practical experience the kind of stuff that isn't in the original documents, the very practical stuff. One of the reasons why the boat is actually being rebuilt in Cornwall is the fact that it's an historic boat, it's actually made out of wood. Those kind of traditional boat building skills have been lost in many other parts of the United Kingdom, but in Cornwall, which has a long tradition of wooden boat building, those skills can still be found. So what I'm trying to do is work with the team that's actually redeveloping the boat, re reconstructing the boat, to give them the best possible finish. And in the longer term, hopefully, a prestige project like that leads to increased employment, leads to a revival of those wooden boat building skills in Cornwall, leads to jobs, leads to employment and leads to prosperity.